Hi everyone, we're back with another top salary feature, Smart Lists. Salary provides the ability to segment your inventory into smaller groups of items based on similar characteristics. These groups are what we call Smart Lists. Smart Lists can be found in the Inventory section on the left side, right under the Inventory title. The first time you log into Salary, You'll notice that we have created a few default smart lists for you. You can check and update the settings of a smart list and see which filters it uses by clicking on the small gray wheel to the right of each smart list. By default, there is a smart list called Amazon is also selling, so let's check out its settings is sold by amazon on amazon.com is true is the filter this means the smart list contains items in my own inventory for which amazon is also a seller now let's check out the results there are 17 items in there out of an entire inventory of 43 items Smart lists are updated dynamically, so every time an item in the inventory fits a smart list criteria, it will be added to the list automatically. You can create a new smart list by clicking on the new smart list option, which can be found right at the bottom of all the default smart lists in the inventory view. Let's create the test smart list by clicking on the new smart list option. First, you'll name your smart list. Many salary users choose names that remind them what sort of items that smart list contains. Let's say I want to see all the items where my stock level is less than 5. So I'll name it stock less than 5 and hit OK. Now the settings will pop up. In order to see all the available filters, you'll have to click on the title box, which will always show up as the default filter. Depending on the strategy you have in mind or how complex and diverse your inventory is, you can easily build a smart list based on competition information, item details, my custom fields, which stand for additional information you can include in salary, my listings, my sales, and even my stock details. So the smart list I am working on will need a filter that's based on quantity since I want to see all the items for which my stock level is less than 5. I'll go to my stock details and I'll select quantities less than 5. I'll hit save and I will see the items with such a low stock level. Let's check out the result. There are 25 items in the list. In addition to creating a one filter smart list, you may go even further to add multiple filters that will allow you to be very specific about the content of the smart list you're working on. You may actually combine as many filters as you want. You may require the items to satisfy every filter you use when choosing the all operator or just need one or some of the filters that you define when choosing the any operator. Why don't we make this smart list even more interesting? I'm going to choose the all operator because I want to see all the fast selling items I've had lately for which the quantity is less than five. So for that I'm going to add another filter I'm going to click on title to see the rest of the options and I'm going to go to my sales because I want to see the items for which sales on my US account in the last week were greater than 5. So I'm thinking if I have an item that sold in the last week, if I sold more than 5 units of that one item in the last week and my quantity is less than 5, I'm hoping the item will be selling as fast as in the last week, so I'll need to replenish that stock. We'll save 
the settings of the smart list and the result will be as shown in the grid which means there are five fast selling items that reached a low stock level and I'll need to restock on these items soon enough. The reason for segmenting the inventory into multiple smart lists is to use different pricing strategies or apply different shipping rates to each group of items. You can also determine what venues you are listing your inventory on and as I've shown in my example you can easily track stock details to decide whether certain items need to have the stock replenished. This is just a quick overview on how smart lists could help when using Celery. We hope you'll send any additional questions you might have via email to celery at cellarengine.com or through the in-app email tool intercom and we will happily further assist you. Thank you for watching.